are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, it's almost that time of the year. I'm talking about June. We're like, what, almost a few weeks away um, before June actually starts. And June is Pride Month. So you guys already know what that means. It is time for some sports teams to actually go woke and virtue signal to the alphabets out there. Well, the Los Angeles Dodgers, and of course, you know where they actually play at. They play in the People's Republic of California. They are scheduled to have some uh, festivities, some pride nights, that kind of thing. But guys, I got to I got to tell you this. People that think like me, people on my side of the political aisle. You must make your voice heard because just maybe just maybe. You'll actually get through and then changes could actually be made. So that brings us to the Dodgers, by the way. Doing their Pride Night festivities, man. They were going to have this group that openly mocks Christians. They were actually going to honor this group. Yes, a Major League Baseball team was going to honor this group. But now they have disinvited this group, guys. Look at this. LGBT nuns disinvited from Dodgers Pride celebration after complaints. Yes. And apparently this organization is a nonprofit. They've been around for a while. But they openly mock Christians and Catholics. Why did the Dodgers invite them in the first place? Let's read this, guys. The Dodgers disinvited an order of queer and trans nuns. You see what I'm getting at, guys? Nuns. From their Pride Night celebration after several Catholic organizations and Senator Mark- Marco Rubio pointed out the organization's irreverent nature. A statement released by Major League Baseball said this year, as part of a full night of programming, We invited a number of groups to join us. We are now aware that our inclusion of one group in particular, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Yes, that's their name. Indulgence. You probably already can guess what that indulgence is. In this year's Pride Night has been the source of some controversy. Given the strong feelings of people who have been offended by the Sisters inclusion in our evening And in an effort not to distract from the great benefits that we have seen over the years of Pride Night, we are deciding to remove them from this year's group of honorees. They were actually going to honor this group. That's disturbing right there. They were actually going to honor this group. So if people did not actually make their voices heard, this group would have been honored. At a baseball game. Major League Baseball, the Dodgers. It's despicable and it's actually insulting as a Christian. Look at this, guys. The nonprofit was founded in 1979 when three men dressed in full traditional nuns habits, one of them carrying a machine gun, walked the streets of San Francisco on Easter Sunday. I'm willing to bet, guys, that um, they chose Easter Sunday for a reason. Because that is the day that uh, Christians actually celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. The Catholic League, League uh, strongly opposed the Dodgers' decision to include the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence due to their anti-Catholic speech. League President Bill Donahue noted the group is known for, quote, simulating, oh my God. You just saw that right there. Simulating sodomy while dressed as nuns. They have taken traditions in the Catholic faith and made them into gimmicks, such as a condom saver mass. And the latex host is the flesh for the life of the world. The names given to the sisters include Sister Homo Fellatio and the Sister Joyous Resurrection, a resurrectum. Oh my God. 
Senator Marco Rubio slammed the Dodgers in a letter for being exclusive to Christians by by inviting a group with the motto, go forth and send some more. Yeah, the Dodgers were going to honor this group. This is absolutely disgusting, guys. Disgusting. I'm glad that Marco Rubio actually spoke out on this. This is what he said. This is he actually wrote this letter to um, Rob Manfred. He said, do you believe that the Los Angeles Dodgers are being inclusive and welcoming to everyone by giving an award to a group of gay and transgender drag performers that intentionally mocks and degrades Christians? And not only Christians, but nuns who devote their lives to serving others. MLB did the right thing. The Dodgers did the right thing in this case to actually disinvite them. However, they should have never been invited in the first place. This is despicable, man. This is despicable right here. And the only reasons why they were disinvited is because the heat was put on them. The heat was put on them. And then they got disinvited. This this is really, really, man, crazy. This is crazy that this. I mean, my God. They mock Christians. They take Christian slogans and words from the Bible, turn them around to mock Christianity. But the Dodgers thought, hey, why don't we just go out there and honor these people? Why don't we go ahead and do it? You know, we don't like Christians. I don't know what's happening to this country, guys. I don't know what's happening to this country. Where Christians can be openly mocked. Now, let me ask you this. If there was an organization out there. That was out there mocking uh, Muslims, Islam. Would the Dodgers have actually honored them? Absolutely not. But, you know, it's perfectly okay in 2023 to attack Christians. Your government is already doing it. I'm talking about all the way up at the White House. They're doing this stuff. I'm I'm just stunned by this, guys. I'm stunned. You just saw what I read. You read what I you heard what I just read. They were saying this stuff. They're mocking Christians and MLB thought that this was okay. This is why we need to have our voices heard. This is why you must do what Marco Rubio did. Just to put a stop to this madness. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.